Hi everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Sergei Butenko Reviews Cool Stuff. At least stuff I think is cool anyway. In this video, I'm gonna be reviewing another set of insulated sprinter van curtains made by a company called Quest Overland. So if you're into cool van products, if this is of interest to you, please do stick around. I'm gonna try and make this as fun and educational as possible. And I'm also gonna try and make it as quick and to the point as possible because I have a tendency to ramble a little bit. I'm working on it. This company, Quest Overland, is already near and dear to my heart because they established shop in my hometown of Ashland, Oregon about two and a half years ago. And they specialize in all kinds of van products from insulated curtains to bug nets. And they do this not only for Sprinter vans, but for ProMasters. I believe they don't currently make anything for Ford Transits, but if enough people watch this video and like it and send them emails, then maybe that can change. A few months ago, the owners, Hallie and Ian, reached out to me and they asked if I'd be interested in reviewing some of their products to which I said, hell yes, because this kind of thing brings me a lot of joy. It's something I'm interested in. And I've also discovered that through my YouTube videos, I can help others make educated decisions, especially when it comes to products that are kind of pricey, because let's face it, insulated curtains for your van are not cheap by any stretch of the imagination. And so I'm gonna make the video that I would like to see, right? So I'm gonna, systematically analyze the curtains in this video, show you all the functions and the features. And then in part two, we're actually gonna jump outside to my van, we're gonna set them up, and then we're just gonna run some tests. Do the magnets work? You know, do they uh, give you privacy? Do they help reflect sun? You know, what we might think of other ones, but basically that's gonna be the gist. It's gonna be a two-part video. Part number one, we're gonna punch into the curtains, to the table, and analyze them. And in part number two, we're gonna hop into the van and then do more analysis. And on that note, let's not waste any more time. Come on. So these right here are the curtains that are gonna be the topic of today's discussion. My first impression of them is very, very pleasant. They just feel like they're made out of very high quality material. It appears that they are black on one side, made with like a ripstop material that if you accidentally tear, it's not gonna tear too much. And on the other side, it's kind of like a grayish golden color. And obviously you've probably already deduced that they fold up accordion style. And they have these little clasps that when you're not using them, you can just store them, which is a very nice feature. I think uh, that they deserve kudos for that alone because there are times when you're not using your curtains and if they don't have a way to get stored, then they're just floating around your van as van junk. And van junk is very similar to space junk where it floats around in the van and just gets in your way and potentially creates bad situations like accidents and stuff. So the fact that these curtains have a way to store, to stow, is I think a very good feature. I wanna point out real quick that this fabric that they're made out of, it's shimmery in, in many different angles. And so when you look on the website, when I was looking on the website rather, uh, some of the curtains looked a little frumpy in the photos. And so I was a little concerned about that at first, but then it, I realized that it was just the fabric. There's so many crinkles and shimmers in this thing that it just appears frumpy, but when you're looking at them, they're not frumpy at all. They look super duper professional and premium. And this is not me trying to cut down their photographer or anything. In fact, in this video, they might look a little frumpy too. Uh, this is more of like a, Sergey's covering his own butt by saying, you know, if, if they look sad, they're not actually sad. So keep that in mind. And then each curtain has a nice little tag that's branded as Quest Overland, made in Oregon. So these products are all made not only in Oregon, but, the, but in the United States in general, which has never been more important than in 2021. The pandemic, if it's taught any of us anything, is that supply chains are easily broken. And, you know, like for example, we recently moved back to the area, we bought a couch, we bought a bed, we bought a mattress, and because those things were made abroad, in China or wherever, we had to wait three months, six months, and nine months to get our product after purchasing, which was very much a pain in the butt. 
So these products are made in the United States. That means their lead time is less, though you have to keep in mind that people are also traveling abroad less. They're staying in this country more, traveling inside. And so camp products, sprinter vans, RVs, all that stuff is highly desirable. And so you're still gonna have to wait a little bit. I believe the current wait on these products is about four weeks. So if you order a set of curtains from Quest Overland, expect to wait a little bit. These curtains right here, look like they're curtains for the rear window of the van. We have two sets of those. And the way that they attach is with integrated magnets that are kind of in this seam here. I feel a little magnet there. And they're just integrated all over the place. In fact, the camera is probably not gonna be able to pick this up very well. We'll demonstrate this more when we're in the van. But when you go to affix these on your van, like so, they're just gonna stick onto the metal of a van. The way that Quest Overland has set up their business is pretty ingenious. It's very modular and very customizable. That's probably smart because vans are very customizable and very modular and different people want different things. So when you go to purchase their products, you can either purchase them per window covering, you could purchase them in pairs, or you can purchase the whole lot. For example, I have a 2013 Mercedes crew van, the 144 inch wheelbase, and these curtains will cover uh, the rear windows, the side windows, and the entire cab. Let's talk about the side curtains next. These bad boys right here. And so just like my YouTube videos, these things are totally similar, but completely different. They're basically a bigger version of the rear curtains, which we just looked at. They also have these nice little things that enable you to clip them shut for storage. I think that's cool. And these things are absolutely huge. So that, my friends, is what the side window of a Sprinter van looks like. Once again, we have that nice golden silver reflective fabric on one side. We have Little integrated magnets, looks like about every eight inches. And those magnets, they go all the way around. So once again, when you go to install this into your van, you simply just go patunk, and it just stays there. And then for storage, you just simply go click and click. Now I believe that these curtains can also just stow right on the van windows themselves, meaning you'll never actually have to take them down. The magnets will just adhere, you just lift them up, fold the accordion, click these things together, and now your curtains just live on the windows. Storage is an issue for van life. These will be permanently out of the way, and that's a beautiful thing. Last but not least, we have this adorable pouch, and the pouch is made out of the same material as the curtains. This material feels very high quality to me. It feels very heavy. It feels like it might be waterproof. Maybe that's something we're gonna test. And, you know, to those watching that can't actually feel it, it's kind of like a Gore-Tex material. Now, I don't see anything that says Gore-Tex. Maybe it's like a non-name uh, non brand Gore-Tex, but it feels very high quality. It doesn't feel like you can rip it. It feels like it can withstand a lot of abuse when you're camping and traveling, living, et cetera, et cetera. And I absolutely love that the pouch contains the cab windows. So we have the passenger window in the front, the driver's side window in the front, and then the big windshield window. And they all live in this little pouch. And the reason I love the pouch is because with my other set of curtains, which are really good curtains, I love them, and when they're not hanging on the driver's side window, the passenger window, and the cab, what do you do with them, right? 
For me, it's kind of been an issue because I use my van as a daily driver in addition to my camper. And so you can't drive with these curtains in the cab. You have to put them somewhere. So more often than not, they go in the back. And then I'm constantly worried. Are they going to get dirty? Are they going to get damaged? Because I throw books in my van and wood in my van and all kinds of other stuff in my van. And so I'm constantly having to keep them in the back of my head. You know, what do I do with them? How do I prevent them from getting damaged? So long story short, I think that this pouch is a very good addition. And I believe it's kind of like a bonus feature. I don't think they charge you for it. So this, let's see what this is. This is, looks like this is a um, either driver or passenger window up front. And again, it's made out of that same nice fabric. And it's got black on one side and gold and gray on the other. And, 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 check it out. It's got a magnetic bug net. So my wife, Kylie, she's definitely gonna be stoked about this because I sleep hot, she sleeps cold, I constantly wanna roll down my windows, which lets in mosquitoes, which inhibits sleep. And if we bicker about anything while on the road, it's about bugs. And so I'm guessing that that's gonna stop because we can now put our curtains up and have enough airflow to satisfy Sergey's desires for comfortable sleep while also satisfying Kylie's desire for good sleep. And so we have two of those. I'm not gonna show you this one. Eh, let's show you this one. It's the same but different just for the other side. And this one too has bug netting. Last but not least, we have the massive windshield covering. Hopefully that fits in the shot. Let me just peek real quick. Okay, it kind of fits in the shot, not really. Let's fold it in half. So this bad boy right here has the same thing going on as all the other stuff. It's kind of colorful on one side and black on the other. And it has what looks like little flaps. That's kind of interesting. I've never seen that before. It has like excess material that, I don't know what that does yet, but we'll figure that out. Ah! <laughs> this thing is a beefcake. It feels thicker to me. It feels thicker to me than the other curtains we've discussed so far. I don't know if they've doubled up on the fabric or what, but that's probably smart because um, your windshield is what gets most of the solar rays and you want to insulate that more so as to keep yourself warmer in the cold months and cooler in the summer months and prevent your dash from being melted from the sun. I've noticed that van products, like many other industries, they're continuously evolving and getting better. Right, at least with companies that care about what they do. The last time I reviewed a professional set of curtains, they came with a very shiny side, like a silver side that was made out of a very reflective material. And then I noticed they stopped doing that. Both that company as well as Quest Overland. The reason I think is because there's more and more vans out there and more and more people camp in neighborhoods. They wanna be stealth campers. And that reflective side was a dead giveaway that somebody was sleeping in a van. I guess there's pros and cons to both. The con is that maybe it reflects a little bit less sunlight, you know, out. But the pro is that when you put these up in your van, it's not advertising to the world, hey, I'm sleeping in here, hey, I'm living in it. More than likely, the reason that these curtains don't have a super duper reflective side is because these folks are smart. They don't want you to be hassled by authority, by police and they want you to have your privacy and just kind of live your life, live the van life. So that's that. Okay, let's fold this up and see how it fits in its pouch. Just like so. And I also want to note that the pouch is actually big enough 
to receive all the curtains. There's nothing worse than unpacking a factory wrapped product like a tent and then you try and slip it back into the pouch and it just doesn't fit. So the fact that they made it just big enough that you can easily slide things in there actually means that there might be a chance that you'll do it and your product will stay protected. At this point, I think it'd be wise to talk about price. Folks will definitely wanna know about that. And I've prepared a little cheat sheet for myself so I don't get anything wrong. So the rear window coverings that we first discussed, for the pair, you're gonna pay somewhere in the ballpark of 229 bucks. Now again, these prices may fluctuate depending on your setup. Quest Overland, as I mentioned, is very customizable. So depending on your venting, depending on you know whether or not you have a max fan, et cetera, et cetera, the price might fluctuate. But for all intents and purposes, 229 bucks. Then for these exact side curtains, you're gonna pay about 399 bucks. Again, everything's customizable. You can have split window coverings, et cetera, et cetera, in which case you might pay a little bit more or a little bit less. But these exact side panel covers right here are 399 bucks. And then the cab package with the bug netting which includes three window coverings and this pouch is 499 bucks. So about 500 bucks. If you were to buy the whole lot individually, you could expect to pay $1,127. But like many companies, if you buy everything together, they give you a little bit of a price break. I think that price break makes it 1,059 bucks for all the curtains you need. For my viewers, I was able to negotiate a slightly better deal. Yeah. So if you wanna save an additional 5% at purchase at checkout, use promo code Butenko Films, and 5% of the purchase will be wiped out. And so you're actually gonna pay $1,006.05 for all of these curtains, which will save you an additional $52.95. So use promo code Butenko Films and save yourself a little bit more money. What else, what else? Ah, yes. So Quest Overland, they actually have two pretty hardcore offers. Number one, they have a lifetime warranty on all their products. So if anything goes wrong, you can send it back. Let's say the stitching comes out, you send it back, they either fix it or give you something else. And number two, 100% money back guarantee. So if you buy their curtains and you don't like them, you send them back, you get your money back. Bada bing, bada boom, what do you got to lose? And, and I almost forgot, that these insulated window covers, they actually have some Butenko love in them. Let me quickly explain. My sister Valya, who's a master seamstress and pattern designer, she played a major role in helping Quest develop their flagship products. Valya worked for the company for about a year, during which time her job title was in-house lead designer. This means that many, if not all, the products that I'm talking about here and now, she played a role in developing them, designing them, and actually sewing them. And, uh, as a big brother, that makes me really proud. Now, some of you might argue that this makes me very biased, and you're probably right, and I don't really care. All joking aside though, my sister is very, very good at her job, and if you'd like to see what she's capable of, feel free to check out her main hustle on Etsy as well as Instagram. Her business is called Lucky Fox Knits, or at Lucky Fox Knits, and it's completely adorable. I don't know what to say. I promised I wouldn't ramble, I probably rambled. What are you gonna do? I'll tell you what though. Let's now actually hop into my van and play around and set up the window covers in part two. Give us a wave. For part number two, I've recruited Mrs. Butenko for an extra set of hands. And Kylie's also really good at spotting flaws and imperfections. So <laughs> if there's anything wrong with these curtains, she will sniff it out. Let's start with the back. All right, let's so, do it. That's these two. I think they go, you could, they're reversible. So you could put the, grayish side out or you could put the black side out uh -huh. i think we'll put the black side out just for the video um so this goes on this side and they're really simple that's all you do wow it takes 
about a second. <laughs> um, they have the little snaps on them. Here, show me that real quick. Okay. Just Got nice, it. keeps them flat. And then I just go around the edges and then it's in. And so the magnets just snap in that, that yeah. easily. I buckle them back up. I think they could store on the window if you wanted them to. I don't know if we will though. Yeah, that's a little bit awkward. Yeah. More than likely, don't you think we're gonna store them like in a net or under the bed somewhere? Yeah, probably. They're so flat, they don't take up much space. Okay, moving on. All right. These long ones fit on these windows. And these ones would, we may store up like that. Um, so in other words. It's pretty nicely, it's very secure. Um, and so the magnets in that, uh, in like the little notches. Yeah, it's in the top, in the, gotcha. in the notch at the top. And then this one, I think, if I got the right one, I can just go straight down like that. Groovy. Wow, that's pretty sleek. Yeah. <laughs> what do you that's think? That's pretty nice and easy. And okay. I don't think any light's getting out. We're going to test all of this at the end, by the way. Yeah. Wow, total coverage. Total coverage. You awesome. know, just by looking at this one, and you tell me if I'm wrong, Kylie, but compared to our other set of curtains, it's a lot more low profile. Yeah, more low profile. And I think the magnets, it seems like there's more magnets maybe. Um, so they stay on a little bit. Like they really secure all the way around really secures it. The other one, there was kind of little gaps every time there wasn't a magnet. They worked great, but these kind of seem more sleek. Ooh, a compliment from Mrs. Butenko. So uh, go, do me a favor, uh, fold it up real quick and then open the door um, because our other curtain sometimes got wedged in that gap. Oh yeah. But I think because these are more low profile, that's not gonna be an issue. Let us see. Oh yeah. The gap that I was talking about just a second ago is this one right here. In between the door and the side of the van, there's not very much space, maybe like three inches. And so our other curtains, which again are great curtains, I'm not trying to rip them a new one, but they would stick out in this gap and always get crumpled when you open the door. And it appears that these are way less profile. And so there's just a lot more clearance and it's cleaner. Yeah, so we might be able to keep these ones on the door when we open them, where the other one we took off anytime we opened the door. I really dig that, I have to say. All of our shades for the cab are in here. And personally, I always put the big front window cab on first um, because I feel like it covers up more so people can't see me inside when I put the other ones up. I would never even have thought of that, but that makes total sense. <laughs> Okie dokie. So that's the bottom. That's the top for the mirror. Get Sergey's hat out of the way. On my head. Mm -hmm. This one has a little Velcro here, so you can really kind of tighten it up there if you want to. Excuse me. Now 
there you go. So I think with these little side flaps, you can kind of scoot it over and adjust them. Just really push your fingers in there to make sure you have all like whatever spots are missing, which is kind of nice because there's extra fabric. And I think you're talking about these little wings, right? These yeah, little these wings. little wings here. So you can kind of jam them in oh, there. Tricky. Yeah, so if you have any light leaks, if you're trying to stealth camp or just, you know, want extra privacy. Because if these weren't there. You'd have a crack. But you can kind of tuck them in if you want to. I'm going to call them basset hound ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so while you finish putting the fine, fine tuning it, I'm going to just peek outside and see what it looks like. Okay. From here. There you have it, folks. That is the front cab window installed. And you can't see anything. The back windows were reversible, where I suppose these ones could be reversible, but these ones have a bug fly, which is easier to use if the black is out. So it goes on like this. Um, we've also found that it's a little easier or you get more blackout if you do it with the door open and then shut the door. Um, but it doesn't really matter. So, so versus trying versus to fix this trying, thing when the door is shut. Yeah. So this is with it on and then you can take this. It just is magnet. And I would say the driver's side window, or both the cab doors have the least amount of metal all the way around them. Uh -huh. And these ones might take a little bit more finesse to like make sure the magnets are really holding it down and in place um, compared to the other windows, but it still holds really well especially when the door shut. So for a better view of the bug net, this is a curtain and then you peel this away. Both this part, the shade and the bug net have magnets in it. One thing is though that this doesn't seem to maybe have as many magnets. Um, maybe they could throw a couple more in there because it's holding the weight of this up. Uh. That might be a good future addition to the product. Um, Do you think that it would keep bugs from staying out though as a whole? Yeah, I think this will keep bugs out, which I'm super happy about because Sergey loves to sleep with the windows down. And I like the fresh air as well, but I really don't like mosquitoes in the van. Um, so this is uh, really exciting for me. I can't wait to use it all the time. Noted. All right, let me put this back up and then we'll go to the other side. And obviously these curtains do not stow on the windows because you cannot drive with the cab windows on. Otherwise you crash into people and things and it's not good. So they live in that little pouch that we've already talked about probably way too much. So same thing on this side. Bug net. Bug net. Bug net, See, bug net, bug net. Use a couple extra magnets. Okay. So that's a little feedback. So in future iterations, maybe a couple extra magnets in the bug nets. But with a little elbow grease. Oh yeah. It's, no problem. Yeah, it's no problem. In fact, I kind of wonder if maybe when you wedge this in the door, let's try it. Leave this down, wedge it in the well, door. You have to shut this oh, okay. to shut the door. So you have to have this shut Let's and then you it. can shut the door and then you can come inside, Sergey. Okay. <laughs> Let me just adjust real quick. Yeah, this one? All the way, please. Okay. Okay. okay so now 
So it doesn't actually get jammed in the door. Oh, I see. So it's just the magnet, but it, it does, it stays well. It's better than nothing. Oh, I think it's wonderful. I'm super excited can be to improved. use it. I was just like. Got it. Um, and just to show you, these can be installed when the doors are shut. It's really not. They're just a little bit more finicky when the door is shut, yeah? Yeah, I don't not know. Not too bad? Yeah. Maybe it doesn't make that much of a difference. Got it. Okay, well I guess the last thing to do is to shut all the doors with all the curtains and see how much stealth factor there is. All right. It might get really dark, you guys. Let me lower really this dark one. and cozy. I never turn my ISO up this high. Now I'm gonna turn off all the lights uh, so we can see if any light is getting through. For all you camera geeks out there, I'm at 3200 ISO, so I'm up pretty damn high. Um, it looks like there's a little light here at the front, but I'm sure we can nicely is adjust it a little bit. And there's a couple little cracks that Kylie's working to fix. That's way better. Way better. I can Ugh. see like a tiny little crack, but almost nothing. Yeah. People are like, you're filming in the dark, what are you doing? <laughs> well, so for those that are interested, this is gonna be really interesting and for everybody else, they're gonna be like, what the hell are they doing? Uh, we, when we slept in here the other night with um, all the curtains up, I woke up in the middle of the night and I couldn't even, I can't see my hand. That's how dark it is which is really good for your sleep habits. But I was just really surprised because our other curtains, I didn't feel were that dark where I couldn't see my hand. It's pretty dark somewhere where you can't yeah, see I your can't hand. I can't see right now. Yeah. So while we're testing how much light stays in the van and gets out, some folks will probably want to know how the van looks with the curtains fully installed at night. Last weekend we were camping at a friend's property and we filmed just that, so here's a quick cutaway. Ready, set, go. And here's the back of the van. You literally can't see anything. But if we open the doors, it's completely light inside. <laughs> Kylie's being a goof. Look at that. So the curtains are on the windows. All the van lights are on. And when you close the doors, there's not even a glimmer of light coming out of it. The curtains are doing their job. Boom, teamwork. Okay, one more thing though. I think we have to test the waterproof of the little carrier for the cab. Let's do curtains. it. So I'm going to take the curtains out. Yeah. The curtains are made out of the same fabric, so if this thing's waterproof, they will be too. Yeah. So... If this thing is waterproof, that's a game changer because that means the curtains are waterproof. That means that if you have pets or kids or just are around moisture, the curtains will be safe. Yeah. Hold on, let me get in position. Talk me through how you're gonna do this. <laughs> I was just gonna spray it with the hose. <laughs> All right, do it. <laughs> what do you think, is it waterproof? It's pretty good. Stick your hand in there. Hold on, let me look at that Okay. And then maybe spray your hand, and if it's wet. I don't feel any moisture. It feels cold, but no moisture. Okay, my hand's here. It's 
give it a nice spray. What do you feel? I don't think anyone would get their curtains that wet. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously there's seams and it's probably leaking through the seams a little bit, but... No. No? Bone dry? Yeah. All I'll right. Peel it up. Turn it inside out. My hand is dry. This hand is a little wet. This one. Um, there's no water anywhere. Any of the seams. Nothing. It's dry. Happy days. Woohoo! It's waterproof. Water resistant. Who knows? Kylie's laughing at my hat. In summary, I think these curtains are amazing and thus they get my stamp of approval. I think uh, they're an exceptional product and I can recommend them without any qualms. If I missed any tests that maybe you wanted to see, please leave me a comment below. Perhaps in the future I'll do a follow-up video. And for more videos that are just like this but completely different, subscribe to my channel, Butenko Films. That's it, that's all. Thanks for watching, you guys.